Hello, my name is Yuval David. I'm the trainer for Store Transportation. And today we will be conducting a proficiency on a MCI a D45 CRTLE. As you can see, this vehicle has a bike rack. And every bike rack is different. And we will demonstrate how to uh, open the bike rack on this particular MCI. By turning the handle, loosening the rack in the bottom and also the top of the bus. So now as you can see, the rack is only open halfway or a little bit more than halfway. There is a pin that needs to be removed. Right here, just push on the blue portion of it and pull up and open the rack. And once the rack is completely open, you can re-secure the pin to prevent the door from slamming shut on you. In order to open the engine compartment, we have to open this side compartment. There is a yellow handle or a lever on this side. Push it in and open the engine compartment. Now the, some of the locations of these items are quite different from every bus. For example, the coolant level is right here versus other vehicles, other buses. There is a dot right in the middle of the side glass. As long as the coolant is above it, you have adequate coolant in the motor. The oil dipstick is located right here. Generally, it's yellow. The transmission dipstick is over here. This is the power steering fluid. To close the bike rack, again, we remove the pin. Now the bike rack is secure. And now we have to secure the pin. Okay, close the side compartment. In this compartment, when you open it, you'll notice that the three reflective triangles are located right here. This is a sensor on this particular model for the following distance. So you always want to make sure that this is clean to detect any movement, any vehicles in front of the bus. Because if it's not, they will give you false readings or it may uh, temporarily malfunction. This compartment, this is where the circuit breaker and the fuses are located. And also the bumper release for the spare tire. So in order to open this uh, uh, driver compartment, you can do it uh, two ways. One is from the inside, there's a T handle on the inside next to the driver. Just pull it up and this door will pop open. Also from the outside, there is a, a button here that you push and, and this door will open. So this is the hole that I access from the outside and this unlock the door. So this is your windshield washer tank, the fuses, circuit breakers. And this is the lever, you pull on this lever and the bumper will drop. Then you can see the spare tire. And we'll do that. And this is the spare tire for the bus. This is the TPMS tire pressure monitoring system. 
and you can press these buttons right here and you will see how much air you have in the tires. There's also on the dash on the inside, there's another way of accessing those tires and well, I will show you that momentarily. This is the battery compartment, so there's a lever here on the inside. Push with the left, pull with the right. And it opens. So this is the main power switch right here. If you turn it, this will kill it. No power, none whatsoever. The battery compartment. These are the electric compartments. You open, lift up. So in order to close the luggage compartment, if you look directly under the handle on the inside, there is a T handle here. You just pull down and close. In order to lock these luggage compartments, you must have a key. There is no switch on the inside, on the dash. You gotta have a key to lock it. This is how to open the front door. Up to open, down to close, and this is to kneel the bus. The second one here, this is for the this is for the door to open the middle door. And also down to close it. And this toggle switch is for the wheelchair, for the ramp. The registration and the insurance cars are located in this plastic bag which is right here this is the insurance it stays the vehicle number and the expiration date of the insurance and the other side of it is the registration it also has the bus number and the expiration date located here and this is where it belongs this is the DVIR book historic transportation as it must be used every time the vehicle is driven. This is the driver's compartment. To open, push out, and open it, and close it, strictly for the driver. This is where the fire extinguisher is located, and this is the first aid kit. The restroom. Obviously there's a sink here available and also in order to flush the toilet you can see this handle right here in order to start up this MCI you have to turn on the step light switch turn to the opposition turn on the power And then push the start button. This is the driver's seat. And this is how you adjust the seat with this red button here. You just press and slide forward or backwards. And these buttons are for a lumbar, for the cushion, for the upper back and lower back. This knob right here is to adjust the bottom cushion if you want to raise it or lower it and the same goes to this one and this is for the back recliner. There's also a button on the left side of the seat. If you were to push it in, which I am, the seat inflates and it goes up you pull it and it deflates to lower the seat according to you to your height this is the steering wheel you can adjust it it raises you can telescope it you can tilt it by pushing up you tilt by pushing down it telescopes this is my turn signal lever this is my right turn signal, as you can see the camera comes on, left turn signal, the other camera comes on, this is my wipers, this is intermediate, this is low, 
and this is fast and this is how you spray press on the outside of the lever this is my city horn this is the uh, electrical horn freeway highway horn you also have a knob on the floor that you can step with your left heel that also works also next to the driver in this uh, box right here is the seat belt cutter in the event of an emergency you may use this to cut the seat belt and get out of the area and escape this is the driver's window to open it just push on this lever right here and it opens goes up and down also locks positions this is the handle I spoke about earlier the T handle where you can open the side compartment by pulling this side compartment will open this is button here is the emergency stopping system that is uh, in the event in the event you lose air and you cannot stop the bus you can press on this and this button will help you pull over to the side of the road and then stop and seek assistance this is the wheelchair wheelchair toggle switch to activate it to activate the wheelchair you must turn on the switch to the on position now off this is the power outlet switch off position and now it is on for passengers to use or hook up their computers or phones or any electronics this is the chime button it's in the off position once I turn it on the passenger is able to press a button and you will hear a sound indicating they need something and this only works one time until I reset it such as this do it again they may use the chime button again this switch is for the speaker the outside speaker so if we can close the door and we turn this on this is the mic that we use to talk to people on the outside hello testing testing one two three testing this is the interior microphone turn it on if you want to speak to your passengers testing 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 one two three and it works this is the left blind or shade and this is the right so press down the lower portion of the switch and they go down the upper portion will go up this is to lock the tag axle as you are turning the tires if you leave it on when you are making a right turn the tag axle will slightly turn to the left to assist you to aid you in the turning process so you can lock it or you can keep it on this is the panel switch it will dim and illuminate the dash right now I am dimming you can see this all the undulating now they're back on this is the driver light and it works this is the step light and the step light right now is off now it's on but it's not working and that is because the door is closed so the door must be open in order for the step light to work now it's on now this is the LDW this is a lane departure switch so as you are driving if you get too close to the lane markings you will hear a beeping sound that will let you know that you need to center your bus in your lane it's going to be a beeping sound this is the blower the passenger blower so we have a low and high right now it's low in the back off and now it's in high position this is to unload the tag axle again to have better weight more weight on the drive tires this is to raise the rear of the bus this is to raise the bus and to lower the bus and this is to recover 
if you happen to forget to uh, reposition the bus to its original position, just press the recover button and it will bring you back up. This is to lower the bus and raise the bus. In order for this to work, the wheelchair accessible target switch must be in the on position. Then you can lower the bus. And you can feel it going down. In order to recover the bus to the original position, you press the recover button. But as you can see, nothing happens unless you turn off the wheelchair accessible switch and then press recover. And also, you may have to apply the service brake one time and you will feel the bus going up to the original position. The second way to lower or raise the bus without having to use the handicap system is to release I'm sure I got my foot on the service brake. I'm going to release the parking brake and I'm going to put the bus in gear. Now I can use my raise and lower button. I'm going to raise the bus. Okay, so now it's in raise and then I'm going to use the recover button to recover. Now I'm going to re-secure my bus and hit it in neutral and I'm going to try it again and it won't work. And the reason why it won't work is because it only works in the two ways that we just demonstrated. Either this wheelchair accessible switch has to be turned on so that the system is on, or the bus has to be in gear uh, and the parking brake has to be disengaged. Uh, so when you're driving at a slow speed like 10 or 15 miles an hour, it will work. It will not work when you're in neutral with the parking brake engaged. This switch is for the, uh, it's called the emergency override. And this is in the event you have a motor problem, engine problem as you're driving, you press this button here and it will override the engine and that will give you adequate time to pull over to the side of the road and park and uh, seek help. This which is the camera, which is located right here. You may check it. You can do a 360 on this camera. And this camera will work when you, when you put the vehicle out of reverse. You can see behind you as you are backing up. In order for that camera to work, we can enter the pin code one, two, three, four, okay and go to camera this is the service mode you can do a camera test and then now if Yule uses these buttons uses the camera 360 camera button you can check the various directions 360 degree camera test again just like the similar to the other switch that we discussed earlier this is a button snow button again it's used when driving through rough terrain through snow uh, mud sand this is the mirror adjustment left side and right side so you simply press the left side and then you may go up on the mirror down on the mirror in or out and do the same thing with the right side. This is the kneel button. This is for loading and unloading passengers. And this will only work when the door is closed. Right now the door is closed. We can kneel the bus and you can hear the baby sound and the front kneeled for people to get on or off the bus. And this is to raise it back up to the original position. And if you happen to forget to leave it in the uh, kneel position, once you put the vehicle in drive, it will recover automatically. Another way of recovering the vehicle again to the original position is to simply press on the recover button while it is in the kneel position and it will bring it back up to normal position. This is the front door entry, passenger entry door top portion is to open the door and the door opens 
the bottom portion is to close the door and this is the back door, the middle door of the bus to open you can also, once you open the back door the camera comes on, you see the back door is open and now we will close it and the camera goes off so what is this? This is the interior lights button? That is the coach's lights to position. If you press the top portion of it, you will have lights in the aisle and also above the windows. The middle is the off position. The low would be aisles only and the vestibule light, the wheelchair area. Front lights. When the, when the coach's lights are on, you may use this switch here to turn off the front, two front lights to reduce some of the lighting. That way it does not interfere with the driver's vision. Then you may cancel it. This is the radio light switch. In the middle is in the off position. Down is, you can test all the radio lights to make sure that they all work. The upper position is to use them individually. So right now we have it in the upper position and we're going to be testing the radio lights. This switch is for the blue lights. You may use those during nighttime driving. This is the vestibule light, the light over the wheelchair area. These are the fog lights. Fog lights only come on with low beams. If the high beams are on, fog lights will not come on. This is the fast idle. This is the engine brake switch. Currently it is in the off position. You press the lower portion of the switch. It's at 50%. You press the top portion, it is at 100%. This is the four-way hazard light. This is the uh, power switch. When you first start the bus, you turn this on. And this, by pressing this, is how you start the engine. And remember, step light must be on when you do this. This is the tachometer. Right now we are idling at about 600 or 700 RPMs. And if you notice, once we put it in a fast idle, it will go up, it's going up to about 900 RPMs. Put it back in low idle. This is my uh, front gauge, air pressure gauge, and this is the rear air pressure gauge. This is my speedometer. Right now the parking brake is applied. You can see the P illuminated. This is the odometer on the bus. And this is the trip setter. You can set it and see how many miles you are driving to a particular area. You can also check one, two, three, four. Okay. You can also do a diagnostics and check the air pressure in the tires. And you can see they are all green, that means we have enough air in the tires. So by pressing diagnostics, and we go to the TPMS button, press it, now you can access all your tires. They're all in the green, that means we have adequate pressure in the tires. This switch, as you can see, is for the vestibule area, for the wheelchair. Now it's on. You can see and look at your passenger as you are driving. This is the radio system. And this is, these are the climate control buttons. For the passengers, the temperature is set at 72 degrees. So the driver cannot raise it or lower the temperature. These two switches are for the driver only. This is the fan speed. And this is for cold or warm air. 
although you cannot adjust the passenger temperature because it is set and locked at 72 degrees you can adjust the blowers this is low this is mid off and this is high this is to release air from the door by simply pushing down on this you can open the back door manually in case of an emergency and to put the air back in simply push up on the button this is the emergency release for the back door or the middle door of the bus so just simply turn it to the right to be able to open the door manually and they do once you open the emergency door in the back with the release switch you cannot close it with the button right here you must release the air from this switch here put the air back in and then close the door and it will close for the front door in case of an emergency just pull down on this and pull down on the handle and the door will open this is the T handle that you need to pull to open the driver compartment door and the electrical panel compartment another way of opening the emergency door is right here we have access to it from here again pull down on the cover then on the handle and you can hear the buzzer coming on the emergency you can open the, the door manually when you want to push this back there's a button on the side just push on the button and the handle will go up automatically or semi-automatically and then place the cover back on and it's very important to push that button as you raise the lever either this one and on the other one the one next to the door otherwise you will damage it you'll break it and then you will have problems so make sure you press the button and then raise the right handle to the off position at this point we're going to be checking our lights on the outside in the back of the bus with the reverse lights and so on so we press this button right here pre-trip and the lights come on now we can go outside and check the reverse lights at the same time i'm going to turn on my four ways and check those as well so we can see our flashes are working front blinders the dark lights are working the reverse lights are working Right. 